How we doing YouTube? Steve here. Oh, it is uh, noon time. Actually, it's almost one o'clock on Tuesday, March March 26th, down here in Evansville, delivering my mowers. Uh, I've been a little bit later on the, in the loop all this week because I started late on Sunday. And um, got my uh, reload out of Bay Area. That was a dropping hook, so no problem. So I stopped here at the Flying J, we're just on the north side of Evansville. I forget what this highway that crosses across here is 64. I can't remember what it is. I don't ever go on it, but just north of Evansville, that's where I am at the Flying J. Got my shower done. Oh, which I probably didn't have to do because I'm going to be at home tonight, but I'd already stopped here when I seen the text from my dispatcher saying that. Uh, my Evansville for tomorrow canceled. This is what we're running into. I was afraid this is what we were going to run into. I was hoping we'd run into it a little bit later. And then he gives me, of course, just an absolutely horrifically bad load. Uh, go load in the city at after dark, 9, 10 o'clock at night, Chicago. When I say the city, I mean Chicago. And then I deliver it to, actually, not that, it wasn't that far of a load. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, but back to the, what the title of the video was today. Uh, anyway, I'll be at home tonight. So um, the title of the video, I think I bought a hopper. I think I bought a hopper. I found one down at Wilson in Frankfort, Indiana. It's a 2017 Wilson, uh, 41 foot length, 96 inches wide, 72 sides, inch sides, uh, which is kind of the medium size. They make one that's, a, I think, like an 88 or something, but it is really tall. You don't see very many of those running around the Midwest. Um, I think they're for really fluffy bulk loads of some kind. Um, and then uh, you see a lot of shorter ones, 66 inches. The shorter ones, you see a lot of farmers have. Um, usually, you can you can get 80,000 in those 66,000 when you haul corn, bean, wheat, and stuff like that. Uh, beans, you usually got to fill it up. Uh, corn, depending on what the test weight is, usually have to fill it all the way up but you got to put it put it full uh, but it works really good for farmers because it isn't so tall and it's easier to dump into with the grain carts and uh, out of the bins and stuff like that the little bit taller ones are better uh, you can way overload them with corn way overload them but they work really good for distiller grain and bean meal and cotton seed hulls and uh, fluffier product like that which is primarily what I'm gonna haul uh, you may ask why are you getting a hopper when you already own a hopper well the reason is because my hopper is a short-sighted hopper a merit hopper which is a, a brand name merit and uh, they don't seem to have quite the pitch that the Wilson's and the Timpties do so they don't work quite as well for like DDGs and things like that. And sometimes, depending on how wet the DDGs is, dried distiller grain is what they call DDGs. There's, uh, w, is it WDGs? It's wet wet millings they call it, which is a wetter product. And then there's dry distiller grain, uh, which they use for feed and things, which is a byproduct of the ethanol process, or uh, bean meal is a byproduct from when they take the oil out of the beans uh, that product is high in protein and works good for a uh, feed and we have several ethanol plants several quite a few ethanol plants around me and a couple big bean bean plants so a lot of what a hopper will haul off season when it's not harvest season or January 1st is that product January 1st a lot of grain moves because uh, farmers are in their new tax year so they can ship a lot of grain but if they're in a tax situation they don't ship a lot of grain in December November December because they don't want to pay taxes on it so they wait and postpone delivery till January so it's a new tax year and then they pay for all their inputs in January and February when they sell that grain it's pretty good <clears throat> but anyway, so there's, and then in the middle of summer, usually they don't keep grain that long. So it's these other products that help keep things moving. Uh, 
Um, this trailer is a, like I said, it's a Wilson 2017 Commander. I don't know what that means, uh, but basically, the guy that had it before me, he did similar to what I'm going to do with it. He had several of them and traded in on new ones. Uh, it sounds like he rotates every year. Um, it's got a, it's a 35,000 is what they want for it, or what we're we're down to. Well, not exactly what we're down to. Um, it's got a few blemishes on it. Structurally, it's it, it seems very sound. A couple of little rust spots underneath that I need to do, um, do just a little surface rust, uh, but I need to get ahead of and, and make sure it doesn't go crazy. Um, and then on the skins of it, it's got a couple little uh, blemishes. Um, that's why it's 35,000. Brakes are over 50%, 70% ish. Uh, needs tires. Uh, the tires are 20, 25 to maybe at the best 40, closer to the 25. He put old tires on it before he traded it in. Um, so I have put new tires on it. Right now it doesn't have vibrators on it. He used a uh, suction cup kind. You get, they got these kinds that you can suction cup to the side of the trailer, that top ta taper part. And he's got an air chuck for it on the, in the, on the side of that trailer uh, to plug the hose in. And then you can run that to help get that product out. Uh, cotton seed hulls and wheat mids, uh, which are the like the bees wings of a wheat when they sh sh shear it apart for the center that they make the flour out of. The outer shell is the mid, they call it. And um, that's good feed source as well. Anyway, those are both fluffier products that don't come out quite so good. So you need vibrators on that trailer to help get that product out. Um, so they're going to put uh, vibrators on this trailer. Uh, two vibrators, one for each hopper. Um, usually that would be three grand for those vibrators. He's going to put them on for two. And um, yeah, for two thousand, I'll have to pay for that. And then um, they're gonna put a new tarp on it for me. Uh, no charge for the tarp. Uh, I'm just it's part of the the cost of what the trailer was. So it'll have a new tarp. I won't have to worry. Two new straps that go down the center to help keep that tarp from sagging between the bows. So it'll have uh, two new straps, new tarp. I'll have those vibrators on it. I may get a vacuum suction one if I think if it doesn't work as good as I think it good is, but I think it will, and uh, and we should be set. Um, he said, uh, I, "This trailer in a couple years, if I don't tear the crap out of it, should be worth still twenty twenty five thousand trade in value." Which will be just perfect because then I, I said I'm 56 this year. Two more years, I'll be 58. If I buy a new hopper in two years, he said the price has been fairly steady uh, after the big increase, you know, during COVID, but um, fairly steady after that. And I wouldn't doubt if they don't come down a little bit because farmers don't have a lot of revenue right now because corn price and bean price is terrible. Um, I can trade this trailer in. For a new trailer and that'll be the last trailer I have to buy um, a new hopper is 70 75,000 depending on how you spec it so that'll put this at 20,000 for my down payment and I will only have to finance 50 for the new one that's the plan how much time we got oh my gosh 912 um, I did this video once already and accidentally hit the wrong button so um, I'll try to do another one for morning, but uh, thanks for all the new subs. I really appreciate it and uh, uh, Prayers out to the people in the poor that bridge disaster my golly um, uh, Prayers to them and their family and uh, more info coming on the on the hopper and the JB hunt and all of that so uh, God bless everybody. Hope everybody has a great day